Today, I want to talk about the hostile environment and the current pandemic in passing, but I also want to talk about the 20 year route. The NHS is planning on sharing your data, which is information about your health, your care, and other confidential information is being shared to other organisations. We have to stop this, but before that, let's talk about 20 years in the United Kingdom. I am Karisha Turner, your human rights barrister. Thank you for watching uh, Karisha Law. The hostile environment is uh, not a construct. Last week, I've had a few clients ask me about the 20 year route. Um, and until we have an amnesty, we will still need to apply under that route. I received an email last week and it saddened me reading that email because that person has been in the United Kingdom for 21 years, but is effectively He's scared and he's worried about making an application, although he can make an application under the 20 year route. Firstly, if you have been in the UK for 20 years, you can make an application as long as you've been in the UK for that period of time, continuously. I will say something about uh, prison sentences here as uh, time spent in prison does not count towards the uh, 20, year, 20 years route. Now, people ask me, do I need evidence? Well, the short answer to that is yes. That is why you need a barrister who can advise you on the quality of the evidence and what type of evidence you need, because make no mistake, the Home Office expects you to have um, a documentary evidence to show that you've been here for that amount of time. And if you're successful, uh, you will obtain um, leave for a period of 20 years, or oh, sorry, of 30 months, um, which you'll have to renew for a 10 year uh, period, which in itself is a long residence uh, route. Uh, so effectively, um, the person can apply for a permanent settlement in the UK through that route. I often hear my clients say, well, we are worried um, that uh, we will have to disclose that we've been working here illegally uh, for the past 20 years or that they've been using false documents um, for work. And these are the reasons why they've not applied. Uh, what I will say is um, working illegally or using false documents to obtain work is not in itself um, good enough reasons for the Home Office to refuse you under the 20 years route. If that is your case, uh, contact me through my platform, book a conference and we will discuss all of this confidentially. But I will say it again, working illegally is not itself a reason why the Home Office um, will, refu will, will, will refuse you and you shouldn't be worried about making um, the application. The last application I did for, for a gentleman who's been um, in the United Kingdom for 20 years unlawfully, I actually disclosed that um, he's been self-sufficient and that he's been working cash in hand in an off-license shop. The rules are designed to take all of this into account. Um, why did I do it? Well, I, I looked at the evidence in the round and, and, I, and, I, and I made that decision looking at the application carefully to disclose it. And effectively, after less than seven months, we obtain a yes from the Home Office. My client didn't even have to go to court. Um, he was happy. And so was I. Um, I've been practicing for, 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 for several years now. And, 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 and um, um, I now have a platform where you can contact me. And if that's you hesitating to make an application, don't. Have a consultation with me. Uh, it may well be that you're not ready to make the application, but you want to know what sort of documents you need and how to go about uh, gathering the information. And um, I will guide you through this um, during the consultation or um, during my conference. Final words on this. 20 years can feel like a lifetime, and it is. Uh, why not simply grant an amnesty? But, but, but until we have an amnesty, we'll have to work with what we have. 
Um, you've been in this country for 20 years. You are very much part of this country. So why does the Home Office make it so difficult? Well, that's the hostile environment, is it not? Um, and, 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 but, but, but do not hesitate to make the application. Do not hesitate to contact me and talk to me about it. And before I go, um, to all my subscribers, clients or anyone watching, do not forget to opt out of the NHS sharing data program. If you don't want your data, information about your health, confidential information about your life being shared, not only to the Home Office, but to all other organisations. We don't know. We don't even know who to. How to do it? Simply put your name and date of birth on a piece of paper and let you write to your GP. Let your GP know you want to opt out. Stop data matching by the government. Have a good weekend ahead. Enjoy the sun. And thank you for watching. Very